So, S and Z, again, it's a pair. It's the same sound. Sissy. Sissy. But the second one's got the vibration. Prize. Prize. That's it. Zzz. Zzz. What's that sound like? Zzz. Zzz. Like a fly or a wasp? Right. No? Yeah. Zzz. Okay. So, we have four of these S sounds. Whereas in Spanish, how many do you have? One. One. Because this is a TH. No? <laughs> is, I don't think we do have, have that one, right? You have Z, but it's a TH. Theta. Theta. It's a th. It's like think, think I, theta. I it's, the yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a th. Yeah. It's not. A, it's not an s sound, yeah. except in this issue in South America or Andalusia, where it's an s. No, yeah. it's an s. Yeah. So next one again, you have a pair. First one, no vibration. Second one, vibration. Shh. Oh, look at my lips. Let's turn your camera on again. Your lips are not right. Okay. I want you to record this again. So press the red button. You turn the camera around. You want to turn the camera around? That's it. Now you've got it. So imagine like kissing a horse. The horse wants to kiss you. You know when a horse wants to kiss you? It's like this. Bring the lips right forward. Look at yourself in the mirror. That's it. You got it. Lips come right forward. You got to push. And what about the tongue? Does it have to be just relaxed? Your tongue's fine. It's the, the noise is coming from the put of air through those through those tense lips pushed forward like this. It's it's not round. It's more like square or rectangular. That's it. Like, I guess, in the library. That's exactly it. Right. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Okay? The second one is the same, but with the vibration. This is the same as if you speak French. Je m'appelle. Je. Je. Le je. Le je. But look at the camera. Got the lips forward. Le je. That's it. Vibration. Le je. Le je. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. It's the same as the French. Okay. Come off. That's it. Hat. Hat. Because the Spanish people want to say. At. <laughs> they could say at, but that's hat. more that's more French people. Hat. The French people will say I have an at. <laughs> no. And the Spanish person will say. Hat. I have a hat. Hat. A hat. Yeah. Because you change H for what sound? Or J, I guess. J. Yeah, the Spanish J, the Jota. Jota. And the French people don't have it, so they just forget about it. Okay. T plus sh makes ch. As in Spanish, chimenea. Scratch. Scratch. That's it. This is in a pair, again, with the second one. This one is easy for you because it's the same as in Spanish. If it's the same as in Spanish, normally you don't have a problem. Second one, D is a stop vibration, and J is the vibration. So you've got the vibrating version of T, which goes to D, and the vibrating version of SH, which goes to J. J, John. 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 But I can, I can badge. It's a je plus a je makes je. But that's it. I mean, if I understood well, it is supposed to vibrate or no? The first one is a stop vibration. You can't keep on that sound. Da 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 da. No, you can't keep a d. You have to do lots of little ones. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. The second one is a vibrating which you can continue. 
Put the two together and you make John. Jack and Jill. John. 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 But I always thought, is, is John the same as, for instance, Jamie? Jamie. And it's hard. It's not je m'appelle. It's Jamie. J, J, J. Yeah. It's harder than you're able to do. Yeah. Jamie. Yeah. But I struggle to make it vibrate, like... To make I mean, the hard sound, leisure, yes. Leisure is... Leisure. leisure but to, uh, Don't worry, we'll look at it. John. 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 That's it. It's hard. It John. stops. John. John. But you don't want to change to a ch. And it's particularly difficult when it's at the end of a word. Badge. 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 Because you will want to say the, the ch, ch. Okay? Badge. This, this is not easy for you, especially at the end. Okay, same as Spanish. M, move. Move. Never. Never. Mmm. Mmm. Morning. Mor morning. That's it. Mmm. Morning. Morning. That's it. La, same as Spanish. Last. Last. Okay. In American, they'll say like last, which sounds a bit like E, huh? In the north of England, they will, the working class people will say last. In the south of England and the middle class people, like in a bank, they will say last. Like A-R, like car. Like a long, long vowel. A long vowel, R. So they will say last car. Last car. In the north of England, the working class people will say last car. Okay, so in your bank, everybody will say last. Last. And in the BBC, what, what do they say? They'll say last. Not so big, but they'll say last. They won't say last. That's northern. Right. It's dialect. Right. Last. But you want to start listening actively. Okay. Now we're identifying all of these things. When you're listening to the radio, or watching the news, you want to listen, say, is Edward right? This person on the news, how does he speak? Ah, the American the person, he does say last, like an E. And the person from Newcastle, Newcastle, he says ah. And the person from Morgan Stanley, he says last. And the Queen, she says last. <laughs> Newcastle. <laughs> this is called advanced RP. This is for very posh people. You will have people in your bank who speak like this. Right. Especially the top people who are maybe 50, 60, very posh. Right. The pr Prince Charles, he will speak like this. But the, the younger princes, they will try to speak more like you and I because they don't want people to think they're too posh and stupid and we give them money and they don't do anything. So they try to pretend they're normal, right. even though they don't work or do anything. Right. Huh? So no, let's not go to an extreme of last. Exactly, <laughs> let's exactly. It, let's keep it normal like this. Yes, exactly. Right. But you have to be aware because yeah, yeah, it yeah. can get... you. You can say, Edward, he's confusing with me with too many things, but you need to know because otherwise you'll say, but this guy from Australia, he says this and this. Mm -hmm. When I went in the taxi, they said this. Yeah, you go to the Dia supermarket downstairs with the women from, from South America and they won't say, fair better. Yeah. No. Yeah. So you need to be aware, otherwise you get confused. Last race. La last race. What weather? Weather. And this it looks like a J, but it's the Y sound. Do you? Do you? University. University. Look, there's no Y here, but it's pronounced like that. Do you? Do you? 
you aren't forgetting those because you probably just say it without thinking about it, but we will find words where you didn't realize it was there. Okay, pause. <laughs>